Welcome to our channel everyone, my name is Aman, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. Today's video, we're going to speak about all the students who want to come to Canada and study in physiotherapy related uh, courses. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is that the previous uh, two videos I made, one uh, with an interview with my friends who are physiotherapists, another one, the different options you have to come to Canada as a physiotherapist. A lot of people, it's very difficult for them to come to Canada as a permanent resident and then go chase the dream of becoming a physiotherapist. Uh, but in this video, we're going to speak about students because not everybody is going to be able to come to Canada as a permanent resident. So another way of definitely coming here is come as a student, do your courses and then get your work permit and uh, PR and then continue your licensing uh, along the line as well. So the options we're going to speak about are two or three year courses because that's the course which will give you a three year work permit. That's going to be enough time for you to get your permanent residency. And we're going to mainly speak about the colleges in Ontario because uh, we cannot make a 30, 40 minute long video and speak about all the colleges available across Canada. So for specific people who do not want to study in Ontario, you can reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to figure out a specific college and a specific course for them. So having said that, let's move on with the options we have prepared for you. And we're going to show you uh, the links of the colleges and maybe some websites as well and all the available options you have. Stay tuned. So the first option is to come to Canada right after you do your plus two or you do your diploma. Uh, in your country. So in that situation, uh, you have an option to go for another diploma in Canada, or you have an option of going to get a, a four year degree as a physiotherapist in Canada. So to start with, let's speak about the option of doing some diplomas. And the first option you can see on your screen is a recreation therapy diploma. In this situation, obviously any college you go to, there are going to be admission requirements. And for this uh, type of diploma, the requirements are a minimum level of education of either grade two or some countries call it high school. And when whichever school you go to, you should have at least a minimum GPA of 50%. And English uh, language scores, I've highlighted the IELTS because that's probably uh, the most popular uh, English uh, proficiency test a lot of people would do. And an overall score of six is required. And in each of the four different streams, you can get a minimum of five and a half, okay? And in majority of the colleges, they even accept the Duolingo English test score as well. And if you want to do that, you need to score at least a minimum of 105, 105, okay? So that, those are the requirements and more or less, uh, whichever college you go to, that's going to be almost the same. Some might have a minimum of six and a half, uh, in IELTS uh, with uh, each stream um, with the uh, minimum of six. Okay, so keep that in mind. And that's why it's important that uh, when you want to go to a specific college, you get to check the requirements of that specific college. Okay, so if you come here and study the recreation therapy diploma program of two years, the options of career which are available to you are, um, it, you can see it on the screen right now, you can get into uh, chronic care or other specialized hospitals. You can get uh, into an adult day program, retirement homes or long-term care homes as well. You can also get into a children's treatment center or a community uh, illness or disability centers, facility or agency for individuals with mental health or intellectual disabilities. Or you can even go to municipal recreation department. Some private practice, uh, um, organizations over here also would uh, be more than happy to hire somebody who has this kind of a diploma and uh, there are uh, government rehabilitation or private rehabilitation facilities as well where you can get a job so there is a lot of options available after you get uh, your diploma complete all right so moving on the first college i want to discuss about is Niagara college and you can see that it uh, gives you a two-year college diploma in recreation therapy and uh, in a moment, we'll just go check out the link for this college as well. Uh, the intakes available for majority of the medical related professions or medical related courses are mainly in September every year. So you would uh, be able to plan accordingly that if you want to come into any of these colleges and any of the September intakes, start preparing beforehand so that you have all your documentation ready, you have all your finances ready, and you have decided which college you want to apply. 
and uh, keep in mind because it's only uh, starting in September, these seats they fill up really fast. So if you want to get into a specific college, you should apply for that uh, a little bit earlier than other people. And uh, for this college and this program, you will see they have an application fees of one hundred dollars, and the tuition fees is thirteen thousand five hundred forty per year. So since it's a two year program, just multiply it by two and that's going to be your total tuition fees. OK, and the similar courses uh, are available in Ontario on Kendor College as well. So you can check uh, uh, that option as well. I'll also leave the link for both of these colleges in the description of the video. And you, if you want to check the Kendor College, you can do it over there. But for the moment, let's go to Niagara College's uh, website and check what they have written for this course on their website. Okay, so here we are on uh, the Niagara College website for uh, the Recreation Therapy Program and uh, the, their tagline is that if you're interested in a career where you're, you support individuals in enjoying and improving quality of life, you should uh, join this course and about this program, two-year program in Welland uh, campus and uh, you would be able to see their overview, what are the options available, what you will be doing the courses which you will be studying in the two years. So you would have it all four semesters in the fall semester, then the winter semester, and then 2022, fall and winter semester. Okay, so I would highly suggest that if you want to get into this course, um, you should go check this website out and you'll be able to see all of these uh, courses which you will be doing. And basically the admission requirements we've already spoken about and uh, Basically, you want to make sure that uh, these are specific courses you must have done in your previous uh, ed education in your high school. OK, and then moving on, the availability is September 2021 is already closed. So obviously, uh, as, as we are already in September right now, so and anybody who wants to apply for this program, they would have to apply for the next year. Transfer pathways. I, this is very important that I wanted to speak about is that certain two years programs when you complete them, uh, the, the grades or the courses you do would give you credentials towards your degree. So it doesn't matter that if you come here on a two year program and do your diploma, certain pe people obviously would want to go the, the, the full circle and want to go get their physiotherapy licenses. So for those people, if they want to go and complete their diploma, uh, sorry, complete their bachelor's of physiotherapy, these courses, uh, these courses which you would do would give you credentials which you will be able to use towards your degree. So it's going to be a lesser time in your degree. Okay, and uh, uh, the, uh, the understanding here you need to uh, create is that every college would have certain universities associated with them. So if you complete your diploma through Niagara College, you will be able to go to Brock University or Athabasca University to complete your uh, degree. So you cannot use the, these credits anywhere. So only certain universities would be able to use these credits. Okay, so that's always a good option. And then you have the option for tuition fees for domestic and international applicants. And you will see that uh, to a two year total of 16,000, oh, sorry, two year total of 32,883. That's your complete tuition fees, okay? And any FAQs, there are specific general questions a lot of people would have in their mind. So you can actually come on this website and check this uh, out for yourself, okay? So that's, uh, that's all I wanted to show you about this website. Let's go back to uh, the main information and the, the, the next options you would have available. All right, so the next option would be to, to do a two year occupational therapy and physiotherapy assistance program. And uh, you, as you can see on the screen, uh, we're not going to speak about the admission requirement because they're more or less the same as the previous uh, program, which is uh, rec uh, recreation therapy. So the college available for, for you is Centennial and they have a two year program. Um, obviously, we will leave the link for this information in the section uh, de description section down below. Uh, the intake always September, so keep that in mind. The tuition fees is 13,350, more or less the same. And in even in this program, you will see the graduates may be eligible to participate in a pathway program, which allows you to receive the degree credit for learning obtained at Centennial College. So it's a similar situation, but again, uh, there is going to be a university associated with the Centennial College, which will take these credits and let you do your degree in that university. And a similar course is also available in Conestoga, Georgian, 
College, Fleming College, St. Clair College, Kendor College, and Niagara College as well. Okay, so many different options, you know, whichever you want to choose from. One of the main questions people will ask is that what is the difference between an occupational versus a recreational therapist? And on your screen, you will see that the occupational therapist, uh, they focus primarily on helping patients with injuries, illness and disabilities, and they develop, recover and improve the skills and activities that are essential for the day to day living and working. So it, it's right in the, the, uh, the title itself, it's occupational therapist. So in an event that if you're working uh, and you get an injury and occupational therapist is the person who's going to help you get back to uh, an optimal working uh, condition. Recreational therapy on the other hand is a service uh, used to restore, remediate and rehabilitate a person's level of functioning and independence in life activities and to promote health and wellness as well as reduce or eliminate the activity limitation and restrictions to participation in life situations caused by illness and and or disability conditions. So the little difference is that uh, occupational therapist would help you get back to your normal conditions of work, but recreational therapy would be in general uh, improving your uh, conditions of life, okay? And in many situations, both of these prof uh, professions would work together to give you a, 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 a better chance of having a, a good quality of life. So both are important, both would get an ample amount of work opportunities in Canada. So whichever course you choose, you're always going to be happy that you will have a, a good um, job and it's going to be a very satisfactory job uh, helping people and getting their lives uh, in, a, in a working order. The next option we have is for people who want to come here and directly go for a Bachelor of Science and uh, then go for a license of a physiotherapist. Uh, the, the difference here is that the colleges are not going to be able to give you a degree. You would have to go to university for that. And the universities, they have different admission requirements. As you can see on the screen, the minimum level of education required again is grade two or high school, oh, sorry, grade 12 or high school. And minimum GPA is 70%. Uh, for diploma was 50 and uh, for uh, degree is 70%. And in, uh, English proficiency uh, requirements are also different. The minimum IELTS overall is six and a half. Uh, in uh, diplomas, it was five uh, and a half, and in some colleges, it was six. Uh, keep in mind that this is the requirements for admission, admission in the university, but when you are going to go write your physiotherapy license, the requirement over there is seven each. Okay, keep that in mind. So um, looking at the admission requirements, uh, the option we have uh, available at the moment uh, for people who want to do bachelor's is Ryerson University in uh, Ontario. And they give you an option to go for a four year uh, diploma, sorry, four year degree. And again, the intakes are only available for September and the tuition fees is $28,906 uh, per year. So keep that in mind uh, that since it's a four year program, you gotta multiply it by four, that's how much uh, tuition fees. It's almost uh, about $120,000, okay? Uh, it's very expensive program, but again, uh, if you want to do bachelor's, this is how much you would have to pay. To keep the video short, we are not going to go to the, the website for Ryerson University, but I'm going to leave the link down below in the description section. So please feel free to go check it out. And if you want to get admission in this college, uh, reach out to our team. I'll leave that information in the section uh, description section down below as well. I will be more than happy to figure out that if you are eligible to apply for this program or not. Okay. And uh, I, in the beginning of the video, I said that uh, we are not going to speak about other universities uh, or sorry other provinces but you can see that the same course course is available in the university of regina as well which is in saskatchewan so this is the only out of the province option i have in this video okay so important things to remember is that when you want to come study in in canada you need to understand where you, uh, where you are at your financial level okay because studying here is not going to be cheap Plus, in the video, we only spoke about the tuition fees, but there is another fees, which is the, your living expenses. You need to take care of those as well. And when you are applying for a study visa, you need to make sure that you have enough money to support yourself in tuition fees and your living expenses to show enough proof of funds that your uh, immigration officer is going to grant your study visa. And here in uh, this uh, video, you will see that uh, we, we put you an example that if you're coming to a a uh, program which is $13,000 per year 
Um, and on an average, currently, the uh, living expenses, according to uh, Canadian Immigration uh, Department, is about $13,000 a year. So if you want to show proof of funds, your tuition fees is $16,000 and your living expenses is $13,000, you need to show at least $29,000 in your account or as a loan or as a, a, a Canadian GIC account, okay? Um, that then only the immigration officer is going to uh, see that you have enough money to sustain yourself and to study here and give you a study visa. If you do not show this money, your, your file is very likely going to be rejected. So the second important point is to understand your goals. If your goal is only to come to Canada and get your permanent residency and you don't care about becoming a physiotherapist, you only want some decent job and you want to live here, uh, as a permanent resident, then I'd suggest that you just take it to your undergraduate program, which will give you a three year work permit. And uh, just working for one year in those three years would be enough for you to apply for your permanent residency. And uh, becoming a recreational therapist or occupational therapist, you would have a decent job and you would have decent income and you would have a, a good life in Canada. And uh, the other goal is obviously that if you want to become a physiotherapist, then plan accordingly. If you really have enough money right away, then go for a bachelor's program. If not, then come here on a two-year diploma program and get your PR because after you get your PR, your education expenses are going to come down. Uh, but keep in mind that every uh, college uh, or university which is going to use the credential from another uh, institution, they would have a limited amount of time in which you can use those credentials. So keep that in mind as well. It's not like that you study, uh, you complete your diploma today and after 10 years you can go to a, a, a university saying that, yeah, I, I want you to use my credentials over there. They're, they're not going to allow that. Uh, but there is going to be a specific limited amount of time under which you should go do your diploma, uh, sorry, do your degree after you uh, do your diploma. So keep that in mind. And after you get your uh, degree, follow the process uh, of getting a license for uh, your physiotherapy. And uh, we made a different video on that. We're going to leave the link in the description section as well. And uh, that is uh, all the information I wanted to provide regarding the study options. Okay, so now you have seen the different options you have uh, if you want to come to Canada and get into the physiotherapy profession. If you want to do that, reach out to our team. We'll be more than happy to figure out which is the best course for you, which course you're eligible for, which province you want to go to, and figure out the right way for you to come to Canada, get your PR and get your physiotherapy license if that's your end goal. And if you like the content we have provided in this video, please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends because that's the only way for us to get this information to more and more people who would benefit from this video. If you if you go to uh, my previous videos about this, uh, this topic, you will see a lot of people have a lot of questions. And the more people would see this video, the more people would get their answers they're looking for. So thank you very much for watching and stay safe, please.